Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> my name's Walrus, and this is my top 10 anticipated games for 2024. The year is looking to be a lot of fun, but these are the games I'm most looking forward to, in no particular order. Before we start, there's a special mention to Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. It would be on this list, but I'm going through the series and I'm only on Kiwami, so I doubt I'll be playing it this year. <laughs> so to keep myself spoiler free, I've kept it off the list. Number 10, Silent Hill 2 Remake. Having received a letter from his deceased wife, James heads to where they shared so many memories in the hopes of seeing her one more time, Silent Hill. There, by the lake, he finds a woman eerily similar to her. Experience a masterclass in psychological survival horror, lauded as the best in the series, on the latest hardware with chilling visuals and visceral sounds. Could she really be here? I'll be honest, if you'd asked me a year ago if I was excited about this game, It'd be a hard no. Mind you, if you told me to play any horror game pre-streaming, I'd run as fast as my flip-flips could carry me. <laughs> I hadn't played a single Silent Hill game, and it was only May time that I actually gave the series a look. I was hooked on Silent Hill 2 Enhanced Edition. The atmosphere, the characters, the monsters, just the journey. It was an amazing game. And with the remake on the horizon, you better be sure I'll be playing it to see if Konami could recapture the magic one more time. Number 9. Wild Bastards. I won't get in trouble for the title, right? Ah, well, to be safe. My turn. From the veteran team behind Void and Card Hunter, Wild Bastards has you travel from planet to planet to recruit, manage, and gunsling with a team of 13 outlaws, each of whom have their own weaponry, special power, and growth tree. On planets, you'll wrangle loot and start showdowns that are then played out in intense, bite-side shootouts. Okay, I found out about this one while I was looking for games that were coming out in 2024 and it instantly jumped on this list. I love Void It holds fond memories for me in my early days of streaming, and locking up and firing all your enemies out of the airlock will never not be hilarious. So to say I'm excited for this Wild West space spin-off is an understatement. I'm sure we can expect fun guns and funnier dialogue. <laughs> Number eight, Little Nightmares 3. Embark on a new adventure in the unique world of Little Nightmares. In Little Nightmares 3, you follow the journey of Lo and Alone as they search for a path that can lead them out of the nowhere. Trapped within the spiral, a cluster of disturbing places, the two friends will have to work together to survive in a dangerous world full of delusions and escape the grasp of an even greater threat lurking in the shadows. Low Nightmares is one of those series that everyone should play. The first one was an amazing game. The second, in my humble opinion, was even better. Supermassive knocked it out of the park with this absolute gem of a series. It even managed to do the impossible. Make me enjoy parkour. It's time for real, guys. Dante's here, so I've got to show off my peak, my peak, um, my peak Lil Nightmares um, skills right here. <laughs> well, for the most part. <laughs> and the new game has co-op. Co-op! I already know who I'm going to ask to take the Little Nightmares 3 adventure with me. I am truly excited to see where this game goes, and it's making me wiggle in anticipation. It makes me wonder if we'll see our little bundle of crime six again. Number seven, Sucker for Love, Day to Die For. While investigating the mysterious disappearance playing your rural hotel of, wait for it, Sac 
Sacram Sacramento, you end up kidnapped yourself. Trapped in the dark heart of the labyrinthian woods, your only hope for escape rests within the pages of the Cultist Strange Purple Spellbook. Amidst the scrawlings of madmen and the images of otherworldly abominations, a passage describes how to summon the black goat of the woods, Rokzan. The rest of the town seems to be under the thrall of Rokzan's all-consuming aura of love. But for some reason, you feel different. I'm a sucker for good parody games. See, the thing is here, I didn't intend for there to be a pun, but I kind of understand why I wrote it the way I did. <laughs> and Dating Cthulhu is sometimes we on stream still talk about to this day. I must admit, I'm not much of a visual novel walls. Less so on stream where I have to read every word. But games like Sucker for Love and Dream Daddy bring out the most hilarious moments. And I cannot wait to see what Eldritch Being we will be seducing this time. Sucker for Love, Day to Die For, enthralls us on 15th of February, 2024. Number 6, Persona 3 Reload. Step into the shoes of a transfer student, thrust into an unexpected fate when entering the hour hidden between one day and the next. Awaken in incredible power and chase the mysteries of the dark hour. Fight for your friends and leave a mark on their memories forever. JRPGs are a weakness of mine. I love playing them. The deep character arcs are the most important part for me being invested in that world. And few games hit the character arcs quite like the Persona series. Two games can be blamed for my obsession with this genre. Tales of Symphonia and Persona 3. I actually played the original after a friend recommended 4, but the shops were sold out and there was a single copy of 3, so I thought, why not? I laughed and cried with this story. I want to say how much this game got to me, but then we'd enter spoiler territory for a game that's just coming out. Best thing I can do now is say, play this game. It has some controversy for miscontent from Persona 3 Fairs and Persona 3 Portable, but if it if it just has all the base game content, then it's worth it already. Personally, I hope they might do a Final Fantasy 7 remake with it, but I'll be enjoying the game no matter how it comes out. Persona 3 Reload enters the Velvet Room, February 2nd. Number 5. Amazing Cultivation Simulator 2. Welcome to the game on nobody's list. In the final plot of Amazing Cultivation Simulator 1, the player's sec Taiyi helps the Emperor's demons to reopen the universe after knowing the truth of the universe. The Taiyi sec chooses to be ready to face the third wave of Devil's Attack. Holding the mentality of fighting for death rather than sitting and waiting to die. However, universe is just a man-made cave. Time speed was totally different from the outer world. Do you like RimWorld? Do you like systems upon systems upon systems, each with no link to one another? Do you want a game that you need 30 guides open just to begin to understand what you're meant to do? Do you want a dog that'll be more powerful than any people you are cultivating? Well, Amazing Cultivation Simulator is the game for you. This is, without a doubt, the most complicated game I have ever played. And I have rage quit more times than I can count trying to make it work. And yet, I always come back. 
just writing these words has me pining for setting up a society that doesn't make any sense to me. Don't take my words earlier as mocky. The game is magical to me in ways I cannot describe. And the fact the game is getting a sequel, I gotta see it. I gotta see what this game is going to attempt and the effects that it'll have on my sanity. Unironically, this is one of the games I am most looking forward to this year. I sometimes wonder if I do like to punish myself. For all those writing in the comments to say, why did you add this? Well, it's my list and I can't wait to see it. What's on your personal list? Comment below and let's compare. Number four, Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater. Discover the origin of iconic military operative Snake and begin to unravel the plot of the legendary Metal Gear series. Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater brings unprecedented new graphics, immersive stealth action gameplay and sounds to its riveting story as players once again return to the world of Metal Gear. I... I have never played Metal Gear Solid 3. The only Metal Gear games I have completed are Survive and Rising. So light your pitchforks, I'm ready to be roasted. <laughs> I have watched all of the Metal Gear Solid games except 5. Hell, I sat in a 12 hour stream of Metal Gear Solid 4. I am looking forward to this being my first played Metal Gear Solid game. Also, just so I can obnoxiously sing Snake Eater every five minutes. Fun fact about Survive, Snake Eater was the only song I had in the multiplayer lobby. So when it was my turn to host, I drove my friends mad with it. <laughs> Number three, Me Side. Hi, my name is Mita. Every day you will come to see me, help me with chores, cook for me, and buy me gifts. You are so nice. I love you. I want to keep you with me every day and live with you every day. I know you also want to be with me every day. So I let you come to our sweet home. How is that? Are you happy? That way we can stay together all the time. <laughs> it hasn't been that long since I made a video for the demo of this game. You can catch that in the link above. But I'll be clear. I am hyped for this game. Lonely Phone Game Girl Meter is bringing you to her world for friendship, food, and other things. Probably fear. <laughs> I have no idea where this game is headed after playing the demo, but I cannot wait to find out. I'm going to butcher this name, but Ihasto has set such a high bar for their game, and I really can't wait for them to stick the landing. Hopefully, I'll be fighting Meter in Milk Fighter again soon. I'm going to need that rematch for my own pride. <laughs> Number two, Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. Embody the superhuman skill and brutality of the Space Marine, the greatest of the Emperor's warriors. Unleash deadly abilities and an arsenal of devastating weaponry to obliterate the relentless Tyranid hordes. Hold at bay the horrors of the galaxy in epic battles on far-flung planets. Uncover dark secrets and drive back the everlasting night to prove your ultimate loyalty to humanity. Is there any Warhammer fan? who isn't excited about running hammer first into a wall of tyranids and just watching the carnage. We got to go warg last time and every second felt incredible. I can't imagine this game won't be as, if not more, satisfying. I am an avid Warhammer fan. I collected Dark Eldar back in the day. 
My, prob my models are probably still in the UK somewhere, but I sucked at gluing and painting. <laughs> you know, the two things that you should really focus on. <laughs> Dawn of War was a wonderful bird's eye view, but Space Marine allows me to live through the absolute destruction the 40k universe is. Let's see how many creatures we can obliterate when the game releases. And finally, number one, EDF 6. The year is 2024 AD. Mankind has won the long battle against the unknown invaders. The enemy primers are now gone and Let's peace has returned to enemies. Mother Earth. However, the population has shrunk to 10% and the oh, world was on the soldier. verge of collapse. The survivors fought against the remaining threats EDF while trying their best to continue their recovery. Three years now passed in the year 2027. Trigger, in a new world without hope, stick. the time has come I'll once again to tomorrow. resist the to fate of the Earth. Now. Let's get serious today. I never lose. Look, every game on this list was in no particular order. But EDF 6 is my most anticipated game of 2024. EDF 5 is one of my favourite games of all time. World Brothers was an amazing spin-off that is a game I de-stressed with. I could have brought the game by now, it's been out here in Japan since 2022, but I need the English dub. I have to hear the campy B-movie story play out as I nuke thousands of giant ants out of existence. I require hearing about giant frogs easily confused as humans. They knew what this series needed and they delivered. If you've never played the series, I don't blame you. On paper, it looks terrible. But give it a chance and you will fall in love with it. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, in this universe like EDF. I'm already recruiting my squad for when this game drops, and you better believe I'll be streaming it as soon as I can. <coughs> D3 Publisher, hit me up! <coughs> <laughs> but that's my top 10 anticipated games of 2024. How about you guys? Leave your picks in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you all later. Sayo banana! <laughs>